All right, I'm going to demonstrate the new features that I implemented into Open Dental CAD that are based on the techniques I highlighted in the last video about making a denture base. Right, so our first step, we'll be using our trimming function to trim out the intaglia surface of the denture. So for this method to give you the best results, you want to stay about the same width as you plan on making the thickness of your base plate away from where you want the denture base to end because the offsetting method is going to extend the periphery of this a little bit further. For example, I'm staying about two and a half millimeters from the land. All right, so you want to go past the depth of the vestibule, but not all the way up to the land. So we'll see to preview our cut, S to select a seed, D to calculate the cut, and then shift D to duplicate that area out. Get that out of there. I'm going to take this material away and add a material that looks a little more like gingiva since this will become our gingival base plate. Alright, next thing we'll do is hit make base plate scaffold. For radius here, you want this to be about one half of the thickness that you plan on making your base plate. So I'm going to make my base plate two and a half millimeters thick. So we'll make the, we'll make this about half of that. And all this does is to this panel adds a decimate modifier. So if, for example, you didn't end up decimating this enough, you could come over here and decimate more, that will make bigger points, or decimate less, which would make uh, more tightly spaced together points. And after that, we'll click Make Meta Base Plate. All right, if you click Finalize here, it will take it straight to a mesh object. If you don't, it will leave it as a Meta Ball object. So let me show you what that means. So I'm going to leave it as is. So when you look at this, this is a really dense mesh. And if we were to add another meta ball and then name it meta surface. Sometimes they will interact with All right, well that is not working, but let's just ignore it because it's not really that important. I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna hide our base plate scaffolding. Come from above and use our arch curve option. And draw right at the middle of the crest bridge. Oops. Okay, hit enter. Now I'm going to hide the master cast. I'm going to look at it from the side. I'm going to pick an occlusal plane somewhere up here so the cursor needs to be about where you want your occlusal plane. Come back from above and draw another arch curve. Now it's going to put the center of the wax rim where your arch curve is. And so you, towards the posterior, you want to follow the curve pretty regularly. And then in the anterior where the teeth tend to flare labially,
And also, if you hear snoring in the background, that's my dog. He's sleeping beside me on the couch. Okay. So now, when we look at these from the side, we'll see a well defined occlusal plane and then this curve which follows the crest of ridge. Right, we'll want to join these two curves together. And now that they're together, see this make meta wax rim? Um, let's undo that for a second. Unhide this meta surface and now make the wax rim. Okay, so that's what it looks like if you use cube. You can also use the ellipsoid preset, which will make something a little rounder. That might work better if you're trying to just make the gingiva from this. But I like the cube, I think it looks like a traditional wax rim. And now, once you've done that, select this object, you'll see Convert Meta Base Plate to Mesh. So if you're selected a non-meta object, that function disappears. Okay, and there we have it. So the final step is this kind of blobby interior surface needs to recapture the master model detail. So you hit Boolean with master cast and select the master cast model. And now you have the full detail on the inside and then a nice starting point to sculpt your gingival uh, detail in. You could then, after doing this, go back to your draw arch curve and remember This function sets the teeth on the sets the buccal cusps and incisal edges of the teeth on this curve. Some reason. Alright, and then from here it becomes a lot more a lot easier to sculpt your gingiva around the teeth. Okay, um, before you go into sculpt mode you'd need to apply that modifier. And now you're ready to go.